there, beautiful people. It is Shani, your little big sis, and welcome to another edition of Always Keep the Faith Friday, where I just try to give an encouraging word, say a little something motivated to get us from Friday into our weekend. And this week, we're going to talk about the fear of success. Now, I know that sounds crazy because most times you're hearing about the fear of failure. And if you saw last week's Friday episode, I just talked about in general how I'm getting back into Shani Speaks now after being on a hiatus for a couple of years. And I left my position um, in corporate America that I had for 10 plus years and now just kind of getting into this thing as an entrepreneur, focusing solely on real estate and focusing on my LLC and Shani Speaks now and doing all these creative things. And I also shared how I had a chance to really reflect in 2020, as I'm sure a lot of us did. Sometimes when you reflect, you may not always like what you see. And while I've always considered myself someone who has really good self-esteem, really great confidence, thank you to my parents for raising me that way, and obviously thank you to my relationship with Jesus, which really, really helps, um, that doesn't mean that I don't have moments where I lack confidence, and that really doesn't mean that I have moments when I have fear or that I fear the abilities, and the talents that I have, um, and just what I can bring to the table. And one of the things I realized in 2020 that why my hiatus for Shani Speaks Now was so long, because I actually tried in 2019 to bring Shani Speaks Now back. I think I had shot maybe four episodes and then it was a wrap. And I realized that it wasn't so much the fear of failure as it was the fear of success. Mm. These are my confessions. Man, I'm thrown and I don't know what to do. Guess I got it. You know what? I, that's not what this is supposed to be. <clears throat> Sorry. I digress. A lot of times, when you have a fear of success, it's more so of you thinking, what happens if this goes right? And even though that sounds crazy, think about it. When you are doing something else and then you start doing something that could be successful, that means the things that you've gotten used to, the thing that you are in the routine with, you'd have to change to now dedicate time and energy to doing this thing that could be successful. And... I realized that my fear wasn't so much a failure because Lord knows I have failed plenty of times, especially when it comes to TV and auditions and sending out re resume tapes and sending out reels and getting rejections. So to be honest, that part of it honestly doesn't bother me too much. I think I've kind of come to the conclusion that what's for you is for you and what's not for you is not going to happen. But it was more so like if this, if this does happen, if I do make it, if this blows up or if this becomes successful, what will I have to change? What will I have to let go of? What will I have to give up? What will I have to keep up with in order to allow the success to keep going? And not only did I realize that I had this fear of success, but I also love to help other people, which is great, but I hid in that. Now, what I mean by that? What I mean is, it's so much easier for me to push other people into their goals and to push other people into their futures. So I would love to write for other people and help do productions for other people and volunteer all the time, whether it be for family, friends, church, community. And that was my way of, all right, well, I can help them focus on what they gotta do, just leave what I gotta do behind. And while I will always love to help and always love to give back to community and always want to um, give back to church, and the things that God wants me to do, there is a very thin line between really doing those things and then somehow hiding what you're supposed to be doing behind those things and using your excuse of, well, I gotta do this for so-and-so or no, I gotta take care of this or I gotta go to this meeting when in actuality, you may be avoiding what you're really supposed to be doing. And that is something that I had to figure out in 2020 and really take a hard look at and I know a lot of times I use procrastination as um, an excuse or I work better under pressure as an excuse but a lot of it was if I can help these people do what they're doing then I don't have to focus so much on what I'm supposed to do and eh, at some point in time it'll happen. I am telling all my business <laughs> but I'm hoping that somebody out there can relate 
have you possibly had that fear of success or are you possibly putting everything else to the forefront and not really prioritizing what's important and what moves you forward to really do what it is that you love and what you're supposed to be doing in this thing called life. Because as we know in this era and day and age of COVID-19, tomorrow is definitely not promised. So whatever it is, you got to get going and you got to get at it today. So what's this week's fake fact? You know what? Don't focus so much on the fear of failure or the fear of success. Actually, if possible, let's just try to eliminate fear in general as a motivating factor. Even though there is a place for fear, when it comes to you doing the things that you know you're supposed to do and doing the things that you love, I don't necessarily feel like fear needs to be a motivating factor. Not only that, but success is measured by everyone differently. So what you're fearing as success can mean something completely different to somebody else and then you end up just having fear for no reason. So hopefully that is something that you all can look at your own lives today and evaluate a couple things, reprioritize some things, and really figure out what it is that you're really trying to move forward in. But make sure fear is not that. <laughs> well, I hope that you all got something out of what I had to say today in sharing. As always, be blessed. Be encouraged. I hope you all have a great week coming up and a better weekend because everyone knows that you need a weekend to just kind of chill from time to time. And as always, keep the faith and let the Lord fight your battles. Until next time, peace. Want to get a dose of motivation every Friday? Well, hit that notification button to subscribe so you never miss out. And feel free to share the encouragement with a friend. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram at Shanice Speaks Now and keep the good vibes going week long. Thanks so much for watching and see you next Friday. Peace. <sighs>